So what is a splitting criterion? What is a good splitting criterion? The best split is the split that does the best job of separating the data points into groups whereas each group has very dominant single class whereas a single class you know really dominates in each group that means if we divide the whole population into groups when we say the splitting is really good or the best split when we say the split is best that means uh, the groups that we see as a result of splitting should have a uh, purity either one group dominating really high if we say uh, let us take an example of age is this a best split or is it a good split so at the root level there is a 50 50 percent of chance of buying or not buying or 50 percent positives 50 percent negatives okay now after the split there is 52% positive, 48% negative in the uh, young group, 48% positive, 52% negative in the old group. So this is not really giving us pure splits. This is not really giving us something to you know take a business decision upon because we did not gain really any information here at the root level or at the population level there are 100 customers 50% of them buy 50% of them don't buy 50 50 chance even at the split level the customer segments level young customer segment old customer segment both of them have almost like 50 50 percent chance so this age variable is not really a good splitting variable whereas this gender variable so at the root level again 50 50 percent chance but at the individual splits we see male population and female population male population has 80 percent chance female population has just five percent chance that means like 95 percent uh, you know of not buying that is also pure uh, from the point of view of not buying male population is also pure from the point of view of buying so this split is very much better than earlier split based on age so we are looking for you know variables like gender we are looking for variables that will split and that will result in uh, final pure segments so impurity or diversity measure so what we are looking for is an impurity or a diversity measure that will give us high score for this age variable that means age has high impurity we would say even after segmenting uh, it is not really giving us pure segments by pure we mean to say one class is uh, really dominating the other we can actually say one segment uh, is uh, a buyer segment or non buyer segment uh, it is not really giving that the age variable so that is really impure whereas uh, gender variable has uh, you know pure segment so we are looking for an impurity measure or a diversity measure which will give very low score for uh, low score for gender variable because gender variable is resulting into pure segments we can actually look at uh, the segments after uh, you know based on gender and we can say yes this is a buyer segment the male segment uh, is a buyer segment the female segment is a non buyer segment gender is really adding value to our uh, segmentation age is not so we are looking for an impurity measure so is there any mathematical formula so entropy entropy characterizes the impurity or the diversity of a segment so finally the impurity measure that we are looking at is entropy so entropy is measure of uncertainty or impurity or the diversity okay. entropy measures the information amount in a message okay if s is a segment of training samples p plus is the proportion of positive examples p minus is proportion of negative examples so if you take one segment positive examples proportion of positive examples here in 50 percent 50 percent is negative examples here proportion of positive examples is 52 percent in this segment male segment of proportion of positive examples is 80 percent so p plus is proportion of positive examples p minus is proportion of negative examples then entropy is defined by this formula minus p plus into log 2 into p plus uh, 
again minus p minus into log 2 into p minus so this formula actually defines the impurity if you look at it carefully it's very intuitive the formula is defined in such a way that it is really high when the segment is really impure okay when p takes a value of minus i mean p takes a value of exactly half that means 50 50 choice 50 50 percent that means very highly impure then entropy value is the highest when the segment is pure when the segment is pure that means 0 percent one segment 0 percent one class second class is 100 percent in that case entropy value is uh, almost uh, the split is really uh, cool i mean really uh, pure then uh, entropy value is the least so when p takes the value 1 either p plus or p minus then entropy is the least when p takes the value 0 0.5 that means very impure then entropy is the highest so entropy anyway characterizes impurity so using this formula we can calculate the impurity we can calculate the diversity at each segment that is how we can actually quantify the impurity which will be later used in uh, deciding which variable is uh, splitting uh, purely which variable is not splitting purely very you know, lot of uh, diversity is there so we can actually get that based on entropy so once again entropy is the highest when the split has probability of 0.5 so entropy is highest when the split has formed. so we already discussed that uh, it takes no uh, you know great skill to act a probability or uh, I mean there is a chance of 50 50 percent for yes or no 50 50 percent for 0 or 1 50 50 percent for buying or not buying so that is that means when we are saying probability is point fair that means the uh, its most impure so let us see let's calculate the value of entropy uh, when P is 0.5 so P plus is 0.5 obviously P minus is 0.5 we are taking log to the base 2 so if we substitute 0.5 here and in place of P plus 0.5 in place of P minus then we'll get an entropy as 1 so if you take this whole value this is 0.5 and this whole value is again 0.5 so this is negative 0.5 this is negative 0.5 finally you can calculate that and you can see entropy is 1 uh, for p 0.5 now let us take an example of pure uh, splitting pure segmentation so when a variable really splits it purely then what happens so one of the uh, probabilities will be 1 other probability will be 0 so if p plus is 1 then p minus will be 0 I mean if everything is uh, 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 if everything is one class the other class will have obviously zero uh, probability so so entropy let's calculate entropy when one of these values is one so let us take uh, 100 percent 100 and zero class ratio in a segment that is really pure and entropy is low let us calculate entropy so if p plus is one so log to the p plus and p minus will be obviously zero the second class probability so everything is zero so entropy value here you can see that entropy is zero so log to the base one so entropy value is zero when you have pure classification entropy value is one when you have very impure classification so the lower the entropy the better the splitting the pure more pure the segmentation the higher the entropy that means uh, the more impurity or the more diversity in the segment the more uncertainty then it will be difficult for us or it's not really useful in making the decision so that is how we uh, do the entropy calculation so the less the entropy the better the split so entropy is zero that is like uh, very highly uh, pure uh, split so entropy actually is formulated in such a way that uh, you know it will take care of this uh, you know high highly pure segment should get low score that means uh, uh, low impurity uh, and uh, highly impure segments or highly uncertain segments get uh, high score okay so that is how the entropy uh, formula is uh, created let us see an example of calculating the entropy 
it's not that every time we have to calculate the entropy just to get a better understanding of entropy we will see a simple example of calculating the entropy value for a given segment now let's take an example of uh, this population there are hundred uh, customers at the root level and then we divided them into two groups young and old young has 60 customers old have, i mean there are 40 old customers at the root there is a 50 percent positive 50 percent negative obviously uh, there is a lot of impurity in fact highest impurity here there is no uh, real uh, you know uh, there is no real information here 50 50 chances but let's calculate entropy at the root so we know the formula of entropy it is negative of proportion of positive into log 2 of proportion of positive minus proportion of negative into log 2 of proportion of negative so you can see the formula here and at this root we have a probability of positive which is 0.5 into log 2 of 0.5 probability of negative is again 0.5 into log 2 of 0.5 when you substitute all the values when you calculate you'll get the entropy value as one that is like 100 percent impurity at root that is understandable because there is a 50 50 chance at this root level now let us calculate entropy for this particular segment yang which has 60 elements so segment 1 age equal to yang uh, has 60 records out of them 31 are positive 29 are negative so the positive uh, ratio is 31 by 60 negative ratio is 29 by 60 so when you calculate entropy you will get the actual value of entropy as 0.9991984 which is like almost 99 percent impurity in this segment which is understandable because uh, ng didn't really give us any additional information out of 50 50 we got uh, nearly 50 50 positive negative only similarly when we calculate the entropy for this segment the second segment old which has 40 elements out of that 19 are positive 21 is negative when you try to calculate the entropy so segment 2 age equal to old this segment has 40 records so 19 by 40 into 19 log 2 of 19 by 40 etc when you calculate that you will get an entropy value or the impurity value or the uncertainty as 99 percent again that is again understandable because it is almost like 50 50 percent chance so that is how we calculate entropy and see how pure a segment is or how impure a segment is here both young and old these two segments are impure uh, you can try one more example uh, of calculating entropy based on gender we have already seen for the root the entropy is 100 percent 100 percent impure here so what is the impurity for this segment that is uh, male segment what is the impurity for this segment that is female segment which has 40 uh, 40 records uh, two of them positive 38 negative looks like this must be a pure one uh, this is somewhat pure but not really pure 48 positive 12 negative out of uh, 60 let's calculate the entropy uh, in those two segments as an exercise now when you calculate the entropy entropy at root will be 100 percent you have already seen that entropy at root when you calculate 50 50 obviously when there is a 50 50 chance entropy at root is 100 percent now entropy for the male segment that is 48 divided by 60 is the positive this is positive probability and log to the base 2 of this one probability and then 12 is the negative number of negative uh, items so 12 by 60 so entropy is still on the higher side again that is uh, it is considering 48 and 12 within 60 that's why entropy is 72 percent there is still 72 percent impurity in that entropy I mean impurity in that segment now female segment if you consider female segment there are 40 female customers out of them two have bought uh, 38 haven't bought in that case when you calculate the entropy 2 by 40 is the probability of positives 38 by 40 is the probability of negatives when you calculate entropy or impurity finally the impurity is 30 percent or like 28.6 percent which is a real good indication that this is a pure segment you can actually 
name this you know really nearly pure you can actually say that as this is a negative segment like 38 uh, negatives are there so 95 percent of them are negatives you can say if negative indicates not buying then you can say female segments are non buyers of this particular product so that way uh, I mean the purity based on the purity you can actually make the business station that's how we calculate the entropy